guys, this is Just One Guy, and this is my tutorial series, Unity for Noobs. Now in this episode, we're going to learn how to get the true height of an object. Now this may be a little more complicated than you might think. What you would think you would have to do is go to the transform and then access the scale Y position. I mean, uh, Y scale. But that's not exactly what you do. And the reason it's so tough to get the height of an object is because the height of an object in the world is dependent on the scale that the object was imported at and so that can give you a widely different height depending on it and I'll show you the issue with that in a minute and another issue that makes it even more complicated is even if you get the local scale or the world scale it'll still give you the wrong height of the object and I'll show you that in a minute now I've created this little script here called get height and all it does is it uses two different methods to get the height of these three objects right here and you can see they're all different three uh, three different heights. Now we have this cube right here, and what that's going to do is it's going to when it touches one of these objects, it's going to give us the height of the object. Now first we're going to use the type two method, and this is just going to access essentially the y position. I mean the y scale of an object, and you can see the immediate problem with this. If I go here, it gives me a height of one. If I go here, it also gives me a height of 1. And finally, if I go here, once again, shocker, a height of 1. Now, if I use the second method, let's just turn off. You can see the first one I get a height of 6, which is a little more reasonable. And this one, 8. Now, we can already tell since this one is taller that these appear to be the true heights. And the last one, you see I get a height of 4. Now the way you get the true height of an object is, it's really simple. Uh, I, uh, I have this little script here which gives type 1, type 2. These are two, the two different methods and the actual height. And we, we're getting the true height by uh, when the cube touches the object, we're using the onTrigger enter function to actually access the height of the object. But the way you actually get the height is you have to go to the mesh renderer. And what you get from the mesh renderer is the bounds. The bounds is kind of an invisible box around every game object that's imported in here. And this will give you the true height of an object. You have to access the bounds, the size, and then the Y position. And that's how you get the true height of an object. The way you get the other height, which is just the, the scale Y position, but this accesses the, uh, the, the world it accesses uh, the Y position by a world view, not a local view. So this will get it regardless of the parent. It'll get uh, it'll get the Y position of that object, but it also returns the wrong height because it doesn't account for how the object was imported. But this method will always give you the true height of an object, and that's something simple that I came across, but that was hard to find out, and I had to go through a lot of searching through the internet to figure it out. And so I just wanted to make this video to share it. Uh, that's it for today. Thank you for watching.